Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm just going to talk about uh, data attributes and CSS selectors and uh, Matomo tag manager. So uh, the typical uh, use case is the following one. Uh, let's imagine that tomorrow as an analyst, uh, you need to set a measurement plan. Okay, so you need to set a measurement plan and you need to uh, base the triggering of your tags according to the different values which are uh, within the element. So let's uh, imagine that uh, we have this given element that we would like to track uh, interaction on. So uh, the name of uh, the author of this uh, of this article. As you can see, uh, there is a link with class and uh, there is a Nashref as well. And the thing is that um, let's imagine that you would like to set a measurement plan, but uh, you don't want to set it uh, according to classes or either IDs because uh, maybe uh, developers will need uh, those information and maybe they are subject uh, to changes and you would like as an analyst to, uh, let's say, customize those elements in order to set uh, custom attributes in order to say, okay, those are attributes I'm using for my uh, tag management system and please don't play with those if not uh, it's going to break my code. So that kind of thing. You would like to add in fact stuff uh, within those, uh, those elements. So those elements are called uh, data attributes and this is what you can find uh, over here. So what I did is I have a website on which I have a button and on this given button what I did is I added a data attribute, which is named here data platform. I could have left it uh, empty and just use data platform. But in my case, I precised in my source code that it was equal Matomo. So as you can see, it has an ID, but in addition to that, it has what we call a data attribute, or at least an HTML attribute, which is data platform a Matomo. And we are going to see right now how we can uh, call that out within a Matomo ID. So of course, typical use case is really to set those given attributes in all the different elements that you would like uh, to, to tag in order to be able afterward uh, to trigger um, to trigger things according to interactions on those given elements. So as in this documentation, it's clearly telling you uh, how you should use them and within a Matomo analytics. So I just created a tag here. Uh, this tag is a custom HTML tag. Uh, it's going to trigger a custom script, which is uh, just saying, okay, there's an alert, it works, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so just a script in order to say, okay, it will work. Um, and I define the trigger as this. So it's when uh, there is a click on any element of the page, and um, the additional condition for this trigger to be fired is that when I click on an element, so I select here, click and click on an element. Okay, so when I click on an element, the elements need to match the following CSS selector. And um, in order to call, uh, or at least to filter according to an attribute, you need to use those. Okay, you need to use those. And then um, here it's uh, the information that we want. So data platform equal Matomo, which correspond exactly uh, to what we have within the source code. And uh, as this documentation is precising it, um, I would like to thank Lucas Rickler to drive me to this given uh, documentation because it's truly helps a lot. As you can see, you can uh, tailor those different attributes according to those different uh, special characters. And if I publish this uh, given uh, code, as you can see, so I'm just gonna refresh my page over here. As you can see, if I click on it, it's gonna fire the tag, and if I click somewhere else, it doesn't. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you today, that you can easily, uh, not easily because you need to have the end on the source code, but you can uh, um, add those data attributes in order to call them within Matomo, you need to set a trigger based on a, a CSS selector and then you need to open those given characters in order to say that you are going to use an attribute and that's where the magic uh, happen. Of course, it would have been different if it uh, would have been a click uh, on a uh, class or an ID or anything like that, but for an attribute, you need to use those special characters. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.